I was already going to make this video today, but on my way home from work, the mad lad Sean Murray tweeted out the famous emoji that we've been expecting. Uh, this time it's a telescope emoji. For those new to No Man's Sky, what this means is that the next 4.0 update is coming really soon. In fact, Sean Murray confirmed that it's going to be dropping this Friday alongside the Switch port. And Sean has kept busy. He's done multiple interviews with media outlets and he finally let the cat out of the bag of what 4.0 is exactly going to be. 4.0 is going to add a bunch of interesting changes to the structure of the game. I for one am excited. If you watched my 4.0 wishlist video, my number two most wanted feature is in here. So let's get right into it. I'm going to be doing a quick rundown of the things that stood out to me the most, but if you want to read the full articles, I will link them down in the description. Sean Murray mentions that this won't be as huge of an update as the previous port adjacent updates like Next and Beyond. He explains that it's not going to be a full revamp, but even then he proceeds to mention features that players have been asking for years. And that's what makes me the most excited about this. It's stuff that has been long overdue. Most interesting to me is the custom game modes and overhauled survival. In various interviews, Sean mentions, I have always thought survival mode was best during its first few hours, and then it became less challenging and didn't feel too different to some of the other game modes. So we've made it a more challenging, more unique experience. To be honest, I welcome this change. Survival feeling like normal mode is what made me stop playing it because all it felt like to me is just smaller stack sizes and not much else. So I definitely am looking forward to playing survival now and experiencing this new challenge. Even more interesting to me is this thing that they mentioned, custom game modes. Custom games will enable players to create bespoke sessions that better fit their needs at any given time, featuring options to adjust everything from controls to difficulty to how a lot of those sort of fundamentals work in terms of the pacing of the game, which opens up a whole bunch of different ways to play the game that weren't there before. In the PC Gamer interview, Shan elaborates on this further stating, if you want to dial the challenge slightly differently, if you want to have permadeath in relaxed game mode or whatever it is, you can do those things. You can change a ton of things to do with the controls, a ton of things to do with difficulty, survival, crafting. You can balance those your own way." End quote. I'm going to mention the relaxed mode in a second because that's also new. The really exciting thing that I've always wanted is a custom difficulty option because let's be honest, No Man's Sky difficulty is kind of like vanilla pudding. I love the game, don't get me wrong, but that edge to difficulty has always been missing. I hope we can crank up the damage multipliers so that when you fight sentinels or pirates, you can actually sweat instead of just yawning and dozing off. On the other side of the difficulty spectrum, the article mentions that they're going to be adding a new relaxed mode that can be toggled on and off. Less focus on the grinding and the survival elements and more on the exploration. I can't see how they would make the game easier than normal mode. But I like the idea of a creative mode that isn't fully without risk or resource management. Um, I haven't really played creative mode at all over the years, so I would be interested in checking out relax mode to be honest. They mentioned that this is good for newer players and for people who just want to experience all that has been added over the years without having to grind through a lackluster tutorial. Speaking of tutorial, the interview also mentions, there's a lot of streamlining in terms of the tutorial when you unlock certain things, what's available to you. All intended to fit No Man's Sky's six years of updates into a more cohesive whole. Personally, that's what I like to hear. This was actually number two on my wishlist video. Right now, the game updates have been kind of duct taped together and some don't fit the rest, and especially the way they're introduced to new players. So hopefully 4.0 will take steps to make that whole experience less jarring. This really also helps those who want to play on the go because the last thing most people want to do on the bus when they're waiting to get to work or on the train is to be grinding through the tutorial and like doing things that you don't want to do. When I play No Man's Sky, I want to just be out there exploring to be honest. And this relaxed mode helps when you're going to be playing in shorter bursts on the go. The article also mentions that they're going to be streamlining the inventory systems. Hallelujah. 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 If you've seen my inventory management guide, you know that I'm not a fan of how clunky and counterintuitive some of these features in our inventories are. This has been long overdue to be honest. They mentioned that these new inventories will also increase the level caps of players, ships, and weapons. Hopefully they don't just mean a bigger tech inventory. 
it would be nice to have a bigger tech inventory but that would be a band-aid instead of this facelift that they're talking about in the interview my biggest pet peeve with inventory is things not going into existing stacks and instead just clogging up multiple slots in your ship and your cargo inventory and in your freighter and your base storages it it's just not fun to deal with and hopefully it will be addressed in this update in the pc gamer interview sean mentioned another feature he said something i see people say online is i like the game but it feels overwhelming to come back sean murray continued saying i want both new and returning players to say this makes sense this feels cohesive it doesn't feel like a bunch of disparate updates all over the place sean murray continues and so we dug into that a lot if you come back into the game in 4.0, there's a log where you have a summary of the story you've completed so far. Uh, it's like an info portal that will collect together everything you've done, everything you've unlocked, and give you more info on it so you can dig into it. This sounds very great, especially since sometimes I dust off old saves and I don't even remember if I have a certain feature unlocked yet or if I finished the main story. Or It's very well needed, to be honest. It's actually a pretty dope feature. And we actually had this leaked by data miners a few months ago. We didn't know exactly what it was going to be. We thought since it was called Story Portal, we thought it had something to do with the portals in game. But it just means portal as in a log of all this stuff, which is pretty interesting. Another thing Sean mentioned is that the journey milestones are going to be expanded. For us late game players who have achieved all of them, um, it gives us more things to work towards. I think it's pretty interesting. Hopefully it's not just like another step in kill the hundred sentinels kill the thousand sentinels kill the million sentinels because that would be kind of disappointing hopefully they add a few more interesting milestones to work towards and that will help with the people who are trophy hunters and you want to 100 percent everything that would be awesome for those players one last feature that seems to have gone somewhat unnoticed is that 4.0 will now have constant auto saves instead of only when you leave your ship for those of you who like glitching and duping items <clears throat> professor cynical <laughs> this may spell the end for many of these hacks or maybe not if they make it an option that could be turned off i love the way that pc games n summarizes this coming update it says the 4.0 update revisits some of no man's sky less spectacular but certainly no less crucial fundamental systems i for one am glad that this update will be tidying up the game as kanaju put it i personally loved his analogy of when you're gonna have a new guest in your home and you don't wanna leave stuff as it is, you kinda wanna make it nice for the guests. Most of y'all have probably watched his stuff already, but if you haven't, definitely check out Kanaju's channel. I'm gonna link it above. It is superb. Another content creator who's been super supportive of my channel and has incredible videos and live streams is Whiskey Barrel Gaming. His guides are super in depth and his series of Handful of Cogs is a must watch. It's like comedy, comedy gold. gold. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Uh, make sure to catch me live streaming No Man's Sky 4.0 on PS5 and on the Switch this Friday. Don't miss it. This has been Nolopada and I am out.